Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Anyway, today we're going to work on division with negative numbers. Before this video, we did multiplication with negative numbers, and now we're doing division with negative numbers. Anyway, we can't get started without our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Charlie, what are you doing over there? Yeah, wake up over there. It's time to get started. Today we're doing division with negative numbers, okay? Got your paper, your pencil? All right, here we go. Right there. We start with a review. Four times eight. Charlie, what does four times eight mean? Four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four. It means you have four plus 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 four. You have eight of them being added together, right? And what's four times eight, Charlie? Thirty-two. Thirty-two, right? Positive times positive is positive. We already talked about that in the last video. Now, let's go to division. Charlie, how many fours go into a 32? Eight of them. It's eight of them. It's right there, right? And if we look at it this way, notice, four times eight is 32. That's the relationship between multiplication and division. We can do it this way in Kung Fu and say, hey, four times eight is 32, right? Four times eight is 32. Therefore, 32 divided by four is eight. There you go. All right. Now let's look at this one here, Charlie. Negative eight times seven. Now we know a negative times a positive is a what, Charlie? Negative. Negative, that's right, because negative eight times seven means you're gonna add seven of these negative eights together, right? Which will give you a negative result, negative 56. That's why a negative times a positive is a negative, right? We talked about that in the last video. Okay, Charlie, now, here's the question. Negative 56 divided by negative eight. How many negative eights does it take to make up a negative 56? Seven. It's seven of them. It's right there. So we can think of it this way. Hey, negative 56 times negative 8 is 7. That's because negative 8 times 7 is a negative 56. Well, what this tells us then, hey, look it. A negative divided by negative will be positive. So there you go. If you take a negative divided by negative, the answer will always be positive. Here you go. All right. So up there, positive divided by positive is positive. Negative divided by negative is positive also. Okay, now, let's try some other ones. What if we had a negative divided by positive, right, Charlie? What's negative 32 divided by 4, Charlie? Negative 8. That would be negative 8. We can think of it this way, because 4 times negative 8 is what? Negative 32. Negative 32. 4 times negative 8, or negative 8 times 4, is negative 32, right? Because a positive times a negative is negative, or negative times positive, however you look at it. All right, let's try another one here. 35 divided by negative 5, Charlie. Okay, pay attention to this. What's the answer? Negative 7. It's negative 7. That's because negative 5 times negative 7 is a positive 35. This is another way of looking at it. All right, Charlie, so here we go. Positive divided by negative must be negative. Okay, so we have negative divided by positive is negative, and a positive divided by negative is also negative. Okay, now here's this one negative 35 divided by negative 5. Is the answer positive or negative, Charlie? Positive. It's positive. We showed this answer. Now, see, all you have to do is think what's 35 divided by 5, Charlie? 7. It's 7. And because we have a negative divided by negative, we know our answer is positive, and it's a positive 7. And that's because negative 5 times 7 is negative 35. You can check your answer that way. And that does show us negative divided by negative is positive. All right. So let's do some problems now. 15 subtract 3 divided by negative 3. Now, we're kind of getting into fractions, right? Because that's coming up very soon. Well, here we have to first work out the top. 15 subtract 3. What is it, Charlie? 12. It's 12. And now we're dividing by what? Negative 3. Negative 3. Now, what's 12 divided by negative 3? Is it positive or negative, Charlie? Negative. It's negative, and it's a negative what? 4. 4. There you go. Very nice. All right. Now, here's another one. 15 subtract 3 divided by 3 subtract 15. All right, Charlie. Now, first we do the top, which is actually called the numerator. 15 subtract 3 is what, Charlie? 12. 12. Now, what's 3 subtract 15? Remember by Kung Fu? Hey, if 15 subtract 3 is 12, 3 subtract 15 is what? 
negative 12, negative 12. So you end up with the opposite. So that's another place where the opposite shows up. Notice 15 subtract 3 is 12. 3 subtract 15 is the opposite of 12, which is negative 12. Another kung fu move. But anyway, Charlie, 12 divided by negative 12, is it positive or negative? Negative. It's negative. And 12 divided by 12 is what? 1. So the answer is negative 1. There you go. Now here we have 5 subtract 7 divided by 3 subtract 6. All right, Charlie, what's 5 subtract 7? Negative 2. Negative 2. Okay, 3 subtract 6? Negative 3. Negative 3. Now, this is a fraction. Uh-oh. Well, fractions start with the next video. So what, do we, what can we do with this? Well, hey, a negative divided by negative, we know the answer is what, Charlie? Positive. Positive. So instead of leaving it as negative 2 over negative 3, we can write it as a fraction, which is 2 over 3. And that is your answer. Well, what does 2 over 3 actually mean? That's fractions. And you have to come back and watch the next videos, which all deal with fractions. Everybody's favorite subject. Anyway, we'll see you all again soon.